So you want to know how to prank and you want to make special zombie effects for Halloween. Well, I got Veronica from Gilroy Vlogs who made this with items from home and she's going to show you how to do it right now. So Veronica is going to show us how to make cool zombie special effects from stuff that you have at home. Yep. So what are you going to do with my arm? This is going to be just like a, like some claw marks, oh, cool. like a wound. So you just dab your glue on in the area that you want it. Do you have to use a lot of glue or a little glue? It doesn't take too much. Just spread it like a thin layer. And then you take your toilet paper. And it's best if the, the sides are ripped on the toilet paper. And cover the whole area that you just... Can you use cheap toilet paper like you the one ply or...? You can use any toilet paper, tissues. Okay. Kleenex? Kleenex. <laughs> You're just creating a texture. Okay, cool. And then over top of this, you apply more glue. And now we're just gonna take another layer, Whoa. just to make it thicker. How many layers do you put on? You can put as many as you want. So you can use as many layers as you want, but for this one, you're just gonna do two layers. Uh -huh. And then if you want like a deeper wound or something more wicked, you could make it thicker, right? Yes. And then over top of this, you apply more glue. And now that it's all covered in glue, you have to let that dry. We can speed the drying process using a hairdryer or a fan. So while the glue is drying on this arm, we're going to make teeth marks, bite marks. Like a bite mark, yes. Awesome. So we already got the first layer in, right? First two layers. So what are we doing now? And then I just took more toilet paper, it's still wet with the glue, and you just want to like put it on there kind of bunched up in the middle. Um, so that way, once you get more layers on, you can drag teeth marks and it looks looks like uh, all the flesh is built up in the middle. Ugh. Ah! Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> So now, while this is still wet, like I've built up some tissue in the middle, while it's still wet, I want to create the teeth marks. So I just take my paintbrush, the end of the paintbrush, and kind of drag it through the tissue Whoa, to create cool. the illusion like of it. the teeth mark. This is dry. Now we're going to cover it in like a concealer just to get rid of the white and the, the glue marks so it blends in with your skin. Okay, now we're gonna take this and we're gonna just create like cuts, like he's been clawed. So you just, ah, oh. don't do that, <laughs> like I <already> did not. <laughs> yeah, be very careful. You're using round tip scissors here, right? Yes. So be very careful here. Prank at your own risk. Do zombie makeup at your own risk. Tweezers. What do tweezers do? Just to kind of pull it up a little more so I don't actually cut you. And then you just wanna make cuts What are you doing here? I'm just taking the concealer, what's left on the sponge, inside of the, well, the cuts okay. that I made, just so it's not white. So here I have just red acrylic paint that you can get from any craft store. Actually, you wanna kinda go over the whole area with a little bit of red to kinda make it look kind of irritated. And you want to take your red and you want to paint the skin underneath the cuts. And then you want to take a smaller paintbrush with just black acrylic paint on it and go around the inside edges of the wound just very lightly. And then usually just straight down the middle to give it the deeper gash. And then we're gonna go back in with a mixture of the red and black. More of like a blood look. Not too much. Too much paint is overkill. In this, you wanna just get in the cuts and up on the sides. And then I just go back over top of that with a little bit of just more red, just so it looks nice and bloody. 
For the bite mark, we're going to do the same concept and kind of redden the whole area around it. And we're going to go inside the teeth marks with a very dark black. And then around this, I'm just going to take a mixture of the red and black. Wow, look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, today was a bad day, man. Now that we got everything painted on my arms, you did a great job. Thank you. What are we going to do next? We're going to make the fake blood. So you're making your own fake blood. You make your own fake blood with corn syrup, chocolate syrup, and red food coloring. You just pour some corn syrup. We're not making very much for today. Red food coloring, a few drops. You just mix it until it looks good. Okay. I usually mix the corn syrup and food coloring first until you get a nice bright red. And then you just add a little bit of chocolate syrup at a time and mix it. You just want it to darken up a little bit. So you just take your paintbrush that you mixed it up with, and you're gonna slather it right in those Whoa, cuts. Whoa, that's awesome. Just made this even better. It stays on pretty surprisingly really well. Mm -hmm. This is probably better than a kit you could buy from the store. Voila. Wow. If you can put more in like the cuts to where it's like dripping out. Oh! 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 Ah! What happened to me? Oh, don't look at me! Don't look at me! Dude, this is awesome. Look at the blood's dripping right there. Oh yeah, that's Whoa. perfect. This is how you make zombie special effects just in time for Halloween with items you have at home. Subscribe to Veronica at Gilroy Vlogs, and if you want this kit, I'm going to give it away to a random comment. Just leave a comment, and this kit I'll mail directly to you. Live Inspire Shock the World, and we'll see you next time.